so good evening students so today onwards we are going to start our class that is iit foundation class from mechanics okay i'll post a worksheet to you on mechanics so in that we are going to discuss about uniform motion and non uniform motion on that concept we have few problems i will explain those problems okay i will explain those problems along with a simple concept please try to understand that okay so what is uniform motion first of all what is uniform motion when a moving object covers equal distances in equal intervals of time equal distances in equal intervals of time then that motion is said to be uniform motion then the motion is said to be uniform motion at the time the distance covered by that car or any vehicle or any moving object is equals to product of the velocity and time that means s is equal to ut s is equal to ut suppose the same body the same body is in non uniform motion how can you say the same object covers unequal distances in equal intervals of time then the motion of that object is said to be non uniform motion non uniform motion if it covers equal distances in equal intervals of time that is uniform motion if it not covers equal distances in equal intervals of time that is said to be non uniform in those cases the object the object covers a distance s is equal to ut and s is equal to half at square a is acceleration when i said no that is the non uniform motion at the time the velocity may increase or decrease if it is increasing if the velocity is increasing we have to say that body is in acceleration if the same velocity decreasing decreasing with respect to time then the body is said to be in deceleration in our first problem in our first problem he has given a car has given a car that is that is in non uniform motion and uniform motion in first case it is uh, with a uniform motion then the distance covered by the car s is equal to product of velocity into time this velocity is constant throughout its journey this velocity is constant throughout its journey the same car or the same car or another car covers 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 a distance with acceleration i mean here it is with increasing velocity then the formula for distance s is equal to half a t square half a t square so here you all need to know when you have to use this formula for distance when you have to use this formula for distance covered by the moving object this is with the uniform this is with acceleration this is with the uniform velocity so here these two cars are in journey when these two cars are in journey they both covered same distance after certain time he is asking that time after which they both will meet once again okay further further what i have to do is i need to equate the distance covered by those cars s is equal to ut and s is equal to half a t square so here the concept starts here the, the here what i what i'm going to do is i'm going to equate the distance covered by the car in same time no here this is the distance covered by the car and this is the distance by the car after certain time p after certain time p they both cover same distance that means they both meet once again they both meet once again once again so that's why what i did here is s1 is equal to s2 s1 is equal to ut s2 is equal to half x square from these two these so cancel this t with the square then you'll get t is equal to 2u divided by a 2 into u divided by a that's what your formula this is your shortcut formula for finding the time when they both cover the same distance t is equal to 2u by a so what i have given 
your problem is given that velocity u is equal to 44 meter per second and acceleration u is equal to 2 meter per second square. This is the unit for velocity meter per second and this meter per second square is the unit for acceleration. Okay, so after substituting these two values here in this formula, 2 into u, u is equal to 44 and u is equal to 2. You do this calculation and you will get the answer. So just do this calculation, 2 into 44 divided by 2. Do this calculation and you will get the answer, t is equal to. Okay, we will go for next problem, just watch it. Okay, ma, this is our second problem. So here your body moves along a circular track. This is our circular track from here to here. After completion of one and a half revolution, what is the ratio between distance and displacement? You all need to know that distance is a scalar quantity and displacement is a vector quantity. Here, distance always will have its magnitude. Whereas, displacement, you need to measure magnitude of the displacement that is denoted like this yes modulus of s bar s bar gives you information that displacement is a vector physical quantity displacement is a vector physical quantity and this modulus so the displacement magnitude of displacement uh, represented like this so in this problem in this problem body moves along a circular track. If it starts here, if it starts here, what will happen? It will revolve like this. It will revolve like this. After completion of one revolution, that reaches to the same location once again. Here, the total path traversed by this is 2 pi r, 2 pi r. Because this is nothing but circumference of the circle. This is nothing but circumference of the circle. In your mathematics, the circumference of the circle is nothing but 2 pi r. Thereafter, one more half a revolution is there. Here, it will travel like this. Revolve up to here. This is a half circumference. Half circumference. That means circumference divided by 2. Now, this is the total path that it revolves along the circumference of the circle or circular track 2 pi r plus 2 pi r by 2 2 2 will get cancelled pi r will be there and this total will be 3 pi r this is nothing but distance now after completion of one and a half revolution after completion of one and a half revolution the displacement is av this is the shortest path between these two locations because after completion of one and a half revolution the object will be here not easy not now the shortest path between these two is nothing but your diameter, diameter of the circle, diameter of the circle. This is the center of the circle. From here to here it is r, from here to here it is another r. So this total path is r plus r, 2r. That is what I given you. r plus r. This is nothing but displacement. Shortest path between the two points. r plus r, 2r. And this is nothing but magnitude magnitude of the displacement that is why it is uh, represented like this now what he asked to calculate the ratio between distance and displacement distance is 3 pi r that is s 3 pi r displacement is s bar that is s bar modulus of s bar that is 2 r just you just cancel this r and r then you will get a 3 pi by 2 3 pi by 2 this is your ratio and this is your answer in tomorrow's class we'll meet once again with the two more problems along with the simple concept